we need to replace the ignition switch on this grasshopper mower for two reasons. We actually have an electrical issue and a mechanical issue going on with this switch. As we can tell, it's just, it's twisted out. The key is not doing anything. The internals of the switch are just completely worn out. And what's happening is if you do get it to turn, it's blowing the uh, ignition fuse because the internals of the switch are no longer in uh, sync or they're not clocked per correctly. So we are going to replace this switch and I'm going to show you how to do it. Real simple. You got one bolt on the front of this fender and you got two right back here. And this fender will slide right off of here. And just as I suspected, this whole undercarriage for where the electrics are will need to be blown out. Now, be super careful. You have a circuit board right here, so don't be jabbing around in there with a screwdriver or anything metal or don't do anything at all. Just take your blower and blow that out real good without doing any damage. Pretty straightforward from here on out. We're just gonna take a wrench and crack loose the, the nut that holds the switch in. always like to hang on to these nuts and washers because you never know when you're going to need one so now we're just going to push this down through it should fall right here and there we go pop the new one off I mean pop the old one off and plug the new one in if you don't get anything out of this video, you need to pay attention to this right here. This is the most important part of this video. You have got to make 100% sure that the switch that you're installing is the correct one. Yes, I understand this is the correct one, 530, or 430, 538 stems, and it says it's for a Husqvarna but it also fits a grasshopper. And let me show you what you need to look for so that you don't melt or catch your machine on fire or maybe back feed 12 volts to your ignition coils or maybe even blow out this circuit board. So check this out. Now I've already blown the back of the old switch off. The old switch is on the right and the new switch is on the left. You just want to make sure that everything is clocked in the correct position. Your ground here and your ground here is the same. And all of the markings on the terminals are the same. And they're in the right uh, position, like I said. And plug in your new switch. seats in there as far as it's going to go snake it back up underneath and poke your switch back up through the hole just like that install your lock washer and install your 
new nut. Now these nuts are just punched out of a piece of metal. And if you look, they're kind of concaved a little bit. There's a flat spot. And then this side is kind of rolled a little. I always put the, uh, the hump or the rolled part out. Just makes it easier to start the threads anyway. Of course, you can do whatever ever you want. Where'd she go? There it is. Let's try that again, what you say. And guys, you don't have to kill this nut. Just get it snug and don't over tighten it because you will strip out that pop metal. I'm just gonna give it a crank before I put it all together. electrical system worked out or that electrical issue worked out on this grasshopper and guys it doesn't have to be just grasshopper it can be any manufacturer all switches are going to wear out eventually but anyway guys if this helped you out and i know it did give me a thumbs up pretty please and smash that subscribe button and while you're there click that heart down below and if you click that bell you will get all of my new videos y'all have a good rest of your day more medic one.